Hi, welcome to Vishal Financial School videos. Today we will try to understand how to calculate Black and Shul model. This will be more specifically on call option calculation. These videos are made in order to help you understand and kill the fear of of mathematical calculations which are involved in this. So we have made this very very simple for you to understand. So let's start understanding how to calculate a call option using Black and Shul model. Before I go ahead, there are a few assumptions which a Black and Shul model assumes for calculating a call option. So these are a few assumptions that it has. These are available in a lot of textbooks, so I am not spending much of time in explaining each one of them. So I sincerely request you to kindly go ahead and uh, read few books for understanding these assumptions. So uh, my intention is to make you all understand how to calculate, so we get into understanding the same. The formulas that are used are not very complicated, they are very simple. Let me give a small hint of what has to be done using this. This is then call option calculation formula. D1 and D2 are the two big unknowns that you usually have. We need to calculate the answer of call option. Uh, yes stands for the present market rate of the stock and K will represent the price that you expect it to be which is also known as stock, uh, strike price. E is exponential value, R is nothing but rate of interest t is the time for expiry okay to calculate d1 and d2 we have formulas as seen here d1 and d2 the most important value that you have to calculate is d1 because rest of all depend on them right so if i calculate d1 which is this formula right i will be able to calculate d2 by just using d1 minus standard deviation into root of t right so d1 if you calculate d2 becomes easy once you calculate d1 and d2 i can calculate nd2 or nd1 using these formulas okay so d1 and d2 are are the main uh, unknowns that we have to calculate first in lot of books you will find d1 also being getting calculated with this formula right as i said in few books you will find equation a written as this both gives you the same answer right so let me just take a small example before i start calculating it given is the stock price is around 90 time for expiration is around nine months risk free interest rate is eight percent standard deviation of the stock is around 23 percent expected price or the strike price at which i would like to exercise my option is at 80 rupees Call option type is something called as, I mean the European call option. We need to calculate call option using a Black and Shul model. So yes, 90 we know, K is around 80 that is been done, R will be 8%, T will be around 6 months. So it can also be divided by 6 by 12 which gives me around 0.5. We have to calculate D1 right so let's get to the next slide where we understand how to calculate it as i said yes k r t and standard deviations the formula that we have is around d1 is equal to log normal distribution of spot price divided by the strike price plus interest rate into time divided by standard deviation root of time plus 0.5 into standard deviation into root t how to calculate ln value it's very simple from the calculator you will have ln here right ln bracket open 90 divided by 80 is equal to you get the ln answer rest of all are numerical methods which are not requiring any explanation so we get around 1.0515 as d1 value to calculate d2 value d1 minus root of t into standard deviation when we extrapolate these numbers we get d2 as 0.889 
now we have to calculate n values of d1 and d2 so how to calculate it this is the log normal distribution table that you get log normal distribution always gives one number before decimal and two numbers after decimal valuations but here we have around one number before decimal and four numbers after decimal that means this value will lie between 1.05 and 1.06 okay so value of n 1.0515 will lie between 1.05 and 1.06 so how to calculate the value n 1.05 i know right plus 0.5 which is the last two decimals right into bracket n 1.06 minus n into 1.05 because i said it lies between these two value right so how to find this out n 1.05 how do we get 0.8531 it's nothing but first 1.0 right and 05 is the number you get around 0.8531 3 1 which is what is been written below the value of n bracket 1.05 same when i have to calculate something called as n into bracket 1.06 i need to use the same method i get this value once they are numerical values it is just a addition multiplication and minus signs that we have to honor we get around n g1 value as 0.8547 right so before you solve the nd2 i'll show you how it is is the same method that we take double it and 89 is the next number that means it lies between 88 and 89 right so 88.89 into bracket 0.89 minus 0.88 so same method that we have calculated 0.88 will be something around 0.8 and 8 so you get around 8.06 which is this represented rest of all are known to you so you get nd2 value as this next is extrapolate all these answers in the call option value formula call option calculating formula so as you know s yes, represents the spot price which is 90 right into n d1 which are calculated right which is around 0.8547 and k starts as a strike price into 2.7182 this is nothing but the standard exponential value raised to minus of rate of interest into time into the n d2 valuations when you solve this you get around 14.45 that means a call option premium as of now should be trading at around 14.45 with has a strike price of 80 and a spot price of 90 with a time duration of 6 months rate of interest of free interest rate is around 8% all right you can also calculate keeping e as the same with an scientific calculator in case if you are okay along with it right so both gives you the answer same i hope you have understood how to calculate a call option using a black and shul model with present assumption that there is no dividends do refer books on black and shul model to have more understanding wishing you the very best and a happy learning